What was the option that the chat member said? Graphics, turn off, enable. Somehow, chat, it's fine. Somehow it fixed itself. I don't know how or why it fixed itself, but it did. I mean, it was fixed even before I did the enable. But now my controller is unbound again. If Nintendo just put this on the Switch, we wouldn't be having this problem. Just put it all on the Switch. A lot of us would buy these games again, I mean, hell. They're charging... ...all that money for that one... that one game. You know, that one three game. One second, almost ready. It is done. Vinny, you'd complain you'd have to buy it again for full price, just like Mayro. Yeah, you're right. What if it was both for 40 bucks? Would, would that be a good deal? As a remake, sure. Yeah, I agree with that. As a remake, great. All this just to avoid some audio crackles, chat. You might want to do the trading sequence for the item that Maple wants. Okay, how? Now the volcano should calm down. I have to get that cave cleaned. So right now, my trading item is the mustache. That's back at town. This volcano had a secret cave in it, but that's a secret. Oh look, the town is not destroyed now. Welcome to Symmetry City, perfect balance is the law of the land. And there's the, uh, dungeon. What a mess. Do I have to be smaller? What? I mean, do you think people are trapped in this city forever because of their law? Yes. See, now I'm hearing clicks in the audio. Which might just be, like, how Game Boy sounded. It's just Game Boy. I also hear clicks everywhere because of music-related purposes. Someone said, what the fuck, now I hear it. Yeah.
I just want to make people laugh. There's gotta be an easy way. Give him the cheesy mustache. Yes. What a hilarious mustache. It's a riot. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna teach you the funniest gag I know. Okay, here goes. You learned a funny joke. Will you be a big hit? Is there a way to disable the clicks? <laughs> Wow, really, you, you just don't have a choice. It's like gonna be one shitty audio problem or another. It's not even that bad, it's just slightly annoying. Okay. How do you like my mustache? We can't do this anymore. Off with you. Windows G, settings, advanced settings, disable click. I lowered the game audio a little bit. I'm just gonna ignore it. The next part of this trade is still in town, just in the past. Let's do the dungeon. This reminds me of Dungeon 8 in Oracle of Seasons. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that dungeon. <laughs> How do you like Wind Waker? Uh, it's on my favorite games of all time list. Somewhere. Pretty far up on the list, I'd say. Yeah, no, I love Wind Waker. I have an affinity for unfinished GameCube games that Nintendo made. I can't help it. I love Sunshine, I love Wind Waker. Someone in chat said, Wind Wanker! I don't think anyone's ever made that joke. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We make wank joke. This is good. This new joke. Got this. Like, oh. You know, gotta get the brain serum. The clear fluid in the brain flowing a little bit. Uh, in relation to Breath of the Wild 2, more Ganon or something totally unrelated in, like, in Majora's Mask. Well, I mean, trailer spoiler, it's Ganon. But it his it hisses his body.
I think it's good to complete this trilogy now that we know it's a trilogy. Even though, you know, one is a Musou game. But I think it's a good idea to focus on Ganon more. And uh, actually give him a character this time, if possible. Which, you know, sometimes Ganon has a bit of character, sometimes he's just big pig man boss. But now we get to maybe see what he's like in his, his flesh form. Usually I would go for, um, if I had to choose, I would usually go for a new boss. I prefer, God damn it! I prefer Majora in, like, that regard. But, um, in this case, since they're telling the story of this giant, like, world-shattering event, I think it's a good idea to, uh, to go for Ganon again. I like the theory that Ganon, the person, was a good guy, but the Calamity forces itself upon a vessel. I'd be down for that. That sounds kind of cool. Just to flip the story on its head a little bit. Try something different with the character. Like Malkovich? Malkovich, Malkovich, yes. It's my head, Schwartz! It's my head! I'm sorry, Mr. Juarez. I can't understand a thing you're saying. What are your thoughts overall on the plot of Breath of the Wild? It's light on story. It's cool, and they told the story the best way they could to keep it so open-ended. Which is through flashbacks, so I, I can kind of appreciate what they were doing. To keep things as open-ended as possible. And like, you know, you can finish the game in any order you want. And you learn, like, through flashbacks, which I don't think they can do this time around. So I wonder where they're going to go with that. But yeah, it wasn't the most amazing story. In fact, I thought it was kind of, at times, just very generic, but... Um, but effective. And the Calamity angle I thought was great, like the destroyed Hyrule setting. Also, my friend Tyler is finally playing Outer Wilds. I've been recommending it to him, so I'm very excited. I get to live the game again vicariously through him on some level. But uh, yeah, no, I, I would like to see more expansion of the story and the characters in the world, and that's what we're gonna get in... I think they're gonna play it kind of loose with the canon on, uh, Hyrule Warriors, but Breath of the Wild 2, I think, is gonna be probably even better, story-wise. Maybe we'll get some... I like the- I like that theory a lot about Ganon being not even a good guy, just a- like a person. You know, maybe he's both kind of, like, good and bad a little bit, and, uh, the Calamity just made him, like, totally fucking unstoppably evil. So that idea would work well for me. I would I would like to see that and explore that. Um, and maybe more of the towns of Hyrule. Oh. Oh my. Someone said, I feel like Ganon's childhood must have been weird and a little sad. They could explore that. I don't know if Anuma would want to. Um, again, story was never the hugest emphasis in these games. It seems like only now is it something that 
there'd be, you know, they'd be willing to explore. Like, yeah, you get a little bit of Link, but it's never like a huge... Like, in-depth analysis. You're not getting Final Fantasy-type writing, or even, like, Dragon Quest with Zelda. You're getting kind of light story, with some... some exploration of character. Like, Skyward Sword is the one that comes to mind when I think of probably the most developed characters and, and storyline in the Zelda universe. So... But even so, like, Link doesn't speak, and... There's a whole lot of Zelda-isms in that, um, but I thought it was a pretty good story for a Zelda game. Someone said it's just frustrating when the potential is there, but they don't use it. Again, that's Nintendo's philosophy of story being, like, scary. That's why Mario has to rescue the princess over and over and over! And then you get a game like Paper Mario, which they do explore a lot more of that stuff, but it's lighthearted. You know, and, and, like, again, the canon... Like, how much connecting tissue is there between the Paper Marios and the Mario and Luigi's? You get, like, yeah, paper puns. Do you like paper puns? We got plenty of those. But I... listen. I don't necessarily uh, boot up a Nintendo game for deep, compelling storylines. Uh, that has never really been the goal. Not to say I wouldn't want one. I would want one, very much. But even, like, Zelda is really a good series to explore. Metroid, you can definitely explore good, good stuff. They tried with Other M. And Samus already has a pretty interesting and tragic backstory, but then Other M just was a fucking dumpster fire, but... Um... Zelda would be the series I want to see... a lot of exploration of the characters, but there's so many Links and so many Zeldas. And so many different time periods that it would just be a self-contained thing. But, again, I like that. Mario... The mainline series, I would like maybe... 20% more than what we usually get. But I don't need a big story for uh, a Mario game. I really don't. Maybe just like a villain that's not Bowser would be fine. Tatanga, yeah. Like Mario Land, weird alien dude, Tatanga. Topanga from Boy Meets World. Someone said, I see you're not versed in Kirby and Pikmin lore. Oh, I know about it. I'm aware. Pikmin is post-apocalyptic and depressing as fuck, and Kirby has this, like, crazy, world-eating, like, most powerful being in the universe type shit. I'm aware of it. it. There's a lot of tragedy in Kirby as well. It's insane. And Splatoon as well. Like, Nintendo has reused Earth in the future after Apocalypse, and all that is left is cream puffs, squids, or ants. They've done this now three times. Metroid is pretty dark. It can get kind of dark, yeah. Super Metroid still has one of the most affecting endings, even though not a single word is spoken. Thank God. 
Fire Emblem has good stories. I, I agree, actually. I, I very much agree with that. Again, we're not talking about, like, mainline Nintendo. Like, the most accessible of the Nintendo stuff, they tend to be a little bit light. Like, Miyamoto's Nintendo, it's a little light on story. But Nintendo definitely has games in their roster that I've, I've found to be pretty compelling story-wise. There's death and betrayal in Three Houses, for example, and uh, it's done... I think the storytelling in Three Houses that I've, I've seen, with my limited time playing it, only going through that one path, I thought it was, like, pretty damn good. And Awakening also had good story. But yeah, it gets dark, and fucking main characters and, you know, people that you get attached to, like, get fucking murdered and betrayed. Which isn't, like, you know, murder and betrayal does not make a good story alone, but it's nice to see them explore some darker aspects. I don't know if that would fly for Zelda. Then again, it kind of happens. There's some pretty dark shit in Zelda. Like, watch Zeltek. That channel will tell you all about that stuff. Zelda definitely has some darker elements. Um, Mario, on the other hand... <laughs> oh no, Mario! I'm your brother! Please! Majora's Mask, then there's the Hero Shade. There's, um... You know, there's a lot of interesting, like, stuff. That's, like, a little bit beneath the surface, and some of it's kind of overt, but Majora in particular is... Like, the characters... That used to, like, help in Termina. In, uh, Clock Town. There's a lot of fucking weird tragedy. I say weird tragedy because, like, it involves aliens, for example, one of them. The end of the world, people coming to terms with their own mortality. It's great. Oh yeah, Uncle Andros, Star Fox. Daddy screamed real good when he died! That's a real line of dialogue from Star Trek, uh, Star Trek, from Star Fox. Cocky little freaks! Vinny, did you have a chance to watch the Star Trek cartoon? Oh, I've had multiple chances. But instead, I'm just watching Deep Space Nine again. <laughs> oh no, it's this room. Oh no. Someone said, is Deep Space Nine pretty good? I've only watched TNG. Deep Space Nine, I still would say, is the best Star Trek. But TNG is the one I like the best because it's the most fun and I love the characters. But I think Deep Space Nine has the best storylines and um, just great narrative, overarching plot lines. It's And re-watching it really proves that to me. Like, they took risks with Deep Space Nine, and they did the darker Star Trek that they're trying to do now with CBS. But it was way more interesting and effective in Deep Space Nine. Quark and Odo are amazing. I mean, even the least interesting character to me, maybe Dr. Bashir, I still really like him, and I love his friendship with Miles O'Brien. Sisko is a fantastic captain. I just love Avery Brooks's acting. I love his, uh, commanding presence. When he, uh, shaves his head bald and grows the goatee, he's like fucking Nick Fury in Star Trek. And he has to deal with some really dark shit. And, uh, he's just got really, really good storylines. I, I, I can't... I can't overstate how good 
the later seasons of DS9 get, and how good of a character Cisco. He already is starts great, but then he gets better and better, and they really explore a lot of stuff with him. One cussing out Q. Yeah, I love how he treats Q. And then Q's just like, alright, fuck this, I'm never coming back. Vinny, you forget that Super Paper Mario is pretty dark. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of retract my statement. I'd say more just mainline Mario games tend to be very light on story, and a lot of Zelda games as well. But, you're right. There's there's some pretty interesting stuff in those Paper Mario games. Hell, Origami King. Like, there were chat members, like, tearing up. So... I felt it. No, I felt it too. I felt a single emotion. Earthbound and Mother. Especially Mother 3. I mean, Earthbound had its own share of, of like, emotional moments, but Mother 3 actually fucked me up. Mother 3 was a game that... Uh, stuck with me. And still does. Like, even some of the best RPGs I've played don't do what Mother 3 did to me. So... I'm gonna wait for the level 2 sword. Someone said I needed pot. No, no, no. V Vine Alien needed pot. Hello, my dogs. Are any of you engaging in the trade of your local marijuana? I shall barter for this plant that we can only get on Earth. You see, my species, we're boring. We gave emotions up long ago, and thus the only way we feel anything is through partaking in your herbal processes. So, my... my dog. Please, if you know where to find some, please. Someone just said, Herbal Space Program. That's a plus 10 for that chat member. That's like a plus fucking 100. The planet's gonna be fine without us. Maybe we... Maybe the planet brought us here so we can make plastic for it. It'll be the Earth! Plus, plastic. It's a good George Carlin bit about plastic. Someone said, no, you can't recycle plastic. Yeah, he was just being a little nihilistic about it in his bit. About, you know, humans creating plastic. Maybe the planet didn't know how to make plastic, and that's why we're here. To make plastic for the planet. <laughs> Lego is gonna be not using plastic bags anymore, the individual ones. They're gonna be doing paper bags. Which, currently, the Lego sets have, like, clear plastic bags. Ah, uh, I fucked up. And, uh, you can, like, you know, 
scour through them. But I think it's, you know, that's, I'm fine with that. I'm still building this LEGO NES, but the TV portion of it. And, uh, some weird little mechanisms. Just, like, strange cranks and, like, the mechanical aspect of this thing is blowing my mind. Like, picturing some, like, R&D team trying to create how to, how to create- This fucking noise is breaking my brain. Some R&D team sitting there trying to figure out how to create a panoramic Lego TV- Honestly, I'm getting over the Lego thing again, pretty quickly. Like, even though I'm enjoying building this Lego set, I haven't really been touching it too much. Like, I've been doing, like, one bag a day, if that. Which is fine, I don't, you know, I'm good, but I'm, I'm happy that I'm more or less over the Lego thing before it got too expensive. It was nice to revisit it, and I may do more sets in the future. But... Thank God. Thank God. Because that Lego Cantina set was really cool looking. And, uh, that is a very expensive set that would take up a lot of room. But, yeah, I'm over it. How about the Millennium Falcon? The Falcon? Yeah. Uh, what about it? <laughs> that would be a very huge build. What's your favorite set? Um... When I was a kid, I liked the Knight set. But, uh... I guess now my favorite set would be the NES. Just because it's, like, a mechanically amazing. And, um... It really is, like, the best LEGO set I've ever built, I think. From when I was a kid till now. It's- it's incredible. But you don't get, like, the instant gratification of building, like, a new little piece. Uh, you know, because you- you have to build for a while before you actually accomplish something, but it's- it's worth it, I think. I know that the cursed Mario can be used to play sound effects, yeah, on- on top of the LEGO TV. Someone said the build is part of what I pay for. Oh no, the build is 80% of the Lego process that I, I mean... Yeah, they're fine, but like I said the other day, I don't play with them. They're just display pieces, you know? I played with Lego Mario for the stream, and I felt like a real twat doing so. But, uh, the TV and the, the NES are cool because they just... They just look awesome. But the build is great. It's, it's really enjoyable. But now I'm just, like, a little bit over it. Maybe I space it out and buy, like, another set next year. You know. I'm gonna use Speed Seed. My seed is... Oh, do I have Speed Seed? No, I don't. Not yet. Someone said I was paid to build a Lego set for a kid earlier this year. Wow, that... that's like paying someone to level up your characters in video games. Like, what's the point, then?
Anyway, this is this game's version of the hook shot. Says the guy who bought 3D All-Stars. That doesn't even compute, mate. Also, I mentioned last night, I cancelled it. I have, um... Someone is being very... Someone is giving me a code. Um... So I cancelled my physical copy order. Because I, I have a, uh... A nice person... Hooking me up. But if I didn't get a code, I would have continued buying it. But that that's not... You know... I don't know the point you were trying to make. Was it in regards to, like, paying someone to build Legos for you? Because that's, like, a very different thing, my friend. He means All-Stars sucks. He's wrong. It's three of the best games ever made. Uh, the collection itself is shit. The games are, are great. Um... Someone said, best game ever made in your opinion, Vinny. I didn't say best game ever. Chat hears what they want to hear. Chat wins every argument. Yeah. Well, I mean, some people just... That's their... They got their argument. And, uh, sure. And there's also thousands of people versus one streamer. So... So chat will always win, and the house always wins, that's okay. I can live with that. Vinny, if you could choose between Mario Sunshine and Wind Waker, which of the two games would you like to see finished? Um... And you can't go back this way? Really? Oh, I did miss a pathway over here, yeah. I guess I would, like, finished as in there was some content, like, Wind Waker had two dungeons cut, but they were put, I think, in Twilight Princess. And Sunshine has some pretty nasty repetition. Like, a lot of its blue coins. Sunshine. I think Sunshine with, you know, that extra level of polish, which they could have done for this release. They could have, chat. Imagine. Oh, man. And they could have even added some stuff to Mario 64 like they did the DS version. Ah, uh, imagine. Yeah. So, yeah, my answer is Sunshine. Reason Wind Waker having two more dungeons, I think, would be great. But truthfully, we saw the dungeons in Twilight Princess, if, if I'm not mistaken, right? So the, why do we need them if, if we've seen them? Maybe adding new dungeons that weren't cut, like just from scratch, could be cool. That was almost my first death. Huh. I don't know if Japes, but I remember hearing Sunshine and 3D All-Stars is the E3 build. Okay, well, let's not go that far.
That sounds like someone who just doesn't like the collection starting a rumor just to piss people off. Like, oh yeah, I heard it was an unfinished E3 build. <laughs> burning flame, it reignites wavering hearts with a hero's burning passion. I'm remembering more and more, the ridge north of Nehru's house must be related to the essences. If you say so. Ah, uh, got the ring. According to the game leaking, we know they're just emulated games. Yeah, I talked about that the other day. Vinny, what did you have for breakfast? Uh, I didn't eat breakfast because I usually don't. Um, but I had for lunch hot pastrami sang, which with uh, mustard and sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese. Does that... I, I want to see the disgusted faces in chat. A lot of people are like, yum. But you know there's gonna be a couple people. Oh, you know, chat, I had a vanilla shake. Someone's gonna be like, Bleh! But yeah, no, it's good. I got it from a place that I like. Where am I going? Oh, right, right, okay. Vinny, what's the most lukewarm, widely accepted statement you can make? That... We must breathe and eat as humans. Aren't you Link? I knew we'd meet. How would you like to hear a useful tip? You know the clock shop in Holodrum's Horon Village, right? Dig around in the back of it. A friend of mine is there. Tell my friend the secret I'm about to tell you. Understand? It's, uh... No, what is this? NH up equals F. NH up equals F. Someone said every person that has died has eaten food and drank water. Hmm, connection? Not every. That's not true. Yeah, that's... That's, in fact, not true. That's a fallacy. Rhythm, you have it or you don't. That's a fallacy. Do not use the ages version of that secret and complete the trading sequence, or you'll make the game too easy. I mean, I still have to solve the puzzles. Do the Gandalf voice. Frodo, you don't need to eat food. Every person that has ever existed had flesh. That's a good statement. Someone will make a one-hour-long YouTube video disproving it, but it's a, I think that's a statement most of us can agree on. Until that YouTube video comes out and proves that it's incorrect.
So I have to give this ribbon to someone in town. Adlar, for 50 years I was a palace advisor. I have since been chased from the palace and am now retired. I have known the queen since she was young. She always held people foremost in her heart, but since she took that girl Nehru in, she has changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I be banished, but... Just who is this Nehru? I can see her as a monster in human disguise. I wonder if the queen is alright. Um, little gleam of warm, warm tongue action. Spend some money, Vinny? I don't know what to buy. Welcome to the darkness of my troubles. I'm so depressed I want to laugh until I forget everything that I'd be happy. Ha. Huh. Tell him funny joke. Okay, here's the joke! This is... <laughs> huh? What's that? Huh? Oh, that's so funny, I forgot to laugh, thanks. Thanks to you, I can be as depressed as I want to be. You can take any book you want from the bookshelf. <laughs> Touching book. It's a sad story. Oh. That's a knife. Uh, enough, like a bird once saw a fly off somewhere. Wait, what? That's enough, like a bird I once saw fly off somewhere. Is, um... Mabel in the past? Or only the future? Or, or present? Both? B-O-L-T-H, both. Will this work? You have to kill 30 enemies on specific tiles. You can access the secret shop if you want. I want to do the secret shop. ring equip remove it oh yeah Secret shop. Oh, nice. Now I can spend some money. Ring box. That's my name. Ring box. Yeah, ear piercing! Get your ears pierced! Get your ears pierced, everybody! Just watch my streams and you get free ear piercing! One second.
One second, chat. Uh, there was a thing I wanted to play on stream. What is it now? I can't find it. It was it was going around on Twitter. Um, let me just type it in. RLM. Wait a minute. There's an alleyway right there. You know what to do, Trick Turner. Get to work. Step right up, folks. Get your cock sucked. Get your cock sucked here, folks. 50 cents. I mean, $10. $10. Step right up, folks. Get your cock sucked. I like Mike's voice. Like, I like the way he says it at the end. Get the cock suck! Get the cock suck! Right. I'm sorry, chat. I had to waste your time for that. Sorry. You'll never get that time back. Oh, you can carry- oh, right, 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 I can carry more rings. How would I do that? Twitch killed the mid-rolls experiment? Really? Really, really, really? Yeah, the Sony event... The, uh, the Sony event had people, like, pissed because they were, like, watching this ad for Sony games and getting ads during the ads for Sony games. It was interesting. Those aren't the ads I want! It says here, this experiment has concluded and will not appear to viewers. We appreciate all the feedback we've received so far, and we'll use it to improve ads on Twitch. There's got to be a better way for them to do what they want to do. I don't know what that better way is, but I'm so happy that it's not that. It should really just be down to the streamer. You know? And then that way the viewer can choose whether or not to watch that streamer. I mean, on some level, though, you know, some streamers being able to make a couple more bucks to fucking, like, live and support themselves, I support that. I think it's a good idea to find ways to, you know, like, help out. Because, you know, this isn't, like, a pro-streamer thing. This is an Amazon need more money thing. But there's, there's just got to be a better way. Yeah, but again, though, I mean, if it benefits the streamer to make a couple extra bucks so they can make their rent, like, I'm all for that. Just gotta be a, a, a good way to do it. I don't know how that is, I don't know where that is, but a way that the viewer can choose whether or not they want to be a part of it and not be, like, have an ad forced down their throat while in the middle of, a like, a big moment in a video game. You need L2 sword for the light ring to work. Well, guess what I'm about to get.
Cock-tuck! No. No, 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 not that. Under the Queensboro Bridge. Streamers who play ads during breaks at the end of their stream announce they're doing it, so it's nice how they handle it. Yeah. I play I play the I press the ad button just as I'm ending the stream. I don't do it during the BRB because I want people to hear the song I'm playing. Because they might enjoy it, and you know, it might become something that they like, which is is nice. But uh Yeah. I, I think just giving the streamer the choice. is good. Someone said if we made Crazy Hamburger and Cocksuck fight, CH would easily win. I don't understand your, like, logic. Wh what Where is that coming from? Why do they have to fight? And why is Cocksuck now CH? Oh no, that's Crazy Hamburger. Sorry, yes, Crazy Hamburger. But no, they're totally different things. You're just, like, basing it on meme potential? Oh, well, I wasn't trying to, like, start a meme with the Red Letter Media thing. It's just a funny clip from one of their old videos. I don't even remember which video that was. Like, I forgot that they existed in the real world. Mike and Jay. Because you almost never see them out there, on, like, these days in their videos, unless they're at, like, filming on location for some, like, bizarre skit, but... Progress is in the past. You could have made that into like, um, like a cryptic clue like a Zelda NPC would have given me. You know what I mean? Like, you, you could have... Like, the way forward is back. The secret is at the tip of the nose. You could have said that. Someone said, I need to stop making fun of that. It's the only word he has an accent on. <laughs> what? Wait, which word? Oh, for forward. For for forward. You can make fun of it, I don't care. Just don't make fun of the way I say Mario, because then we're going to have a fight. I also say strength as strumpf. Someone said everyone has an accent. Yeah, to everyone else, someone... Yeah, to someone else, everyone has an accent. Sure. Unless you, like, have a generic accent, which is, you know... Like a fucking commercial for, like, a boner pill. Struggling with impotence? Go see Jay downtown in Milwaukee. And you can get your cocksuck ten dollars. Or the Nintendo Direct voice. Hey everyone! Today we're gonna go over a number of games that you can play on your Nintendo Switch game console in 2020. Please note, all of these games are subject to change. So if you want to go forward into the future of Nintendo, then you should watch this direct.
Do you think, like, his friends invite him out? The dude that sounds like that? D do you think, like, he... Like, gets invited places? Hey, everyone! Sorry I'm late! I was just under the Queensboro Bridge for a little while. Hey, does anyone have $15 that I can borrow? Maple should be just about... We're almost ready for Maple, I think. We're not staying here very long, no. One of our spots is out by where you started the game. Okay. Legend, you're very helpful. Even though you don't like music that I like. I, I can forgive you. That's alright. No, uh, dude complained that the song I played during the BRB was repetitive. I'm like, man. Listening to this game's music kind of feeling like this game has some pretty fucking repetitive music now that I think now that I think about it That's not the same as this fucking sucks though. Yeah, no, I I always appreciate when people are like just honest but chill about it. No problem there. Hey, that book. That's the touching book I need to take to Syrup. Why do you have it? Let me read it. What? Oh, my. Oh. Oh, ah! Oh, touching. Magic ore. It cuts a mean wake. Thank you, it was good. Take this, it's the first one I made. Syrup never gave me any compliments on it. I'll keep this book. So, great. Vinny, I hate Star Trek and Blade Runner and Pink Floyd and Red Letter Media and the guitar. That's cool. I had nothing to do with any of those. Do you hate me? Even so, this is only my human form. My flesh form. The meta-me somewhere in the metamucil of hyperspace takes no offense because you don't truly know me. You know the disembodied me from the internet. Where's this dude? Is this dude in the past? The raft man? So I kind of can't take offense to anyone that doesn't really like me because you don't- you don't really- You don't know me and if you did, you still wouldn't know me. You know? The only one that knows me is me. And I don't like myself very much, so... You know. So, like, yeah, you can't... You can't really break through that impenetrable barrier. Because there's nothing you can say I haven't already thought. What? <laughs> what? What's wrong, chat? Don't defend me from myself. You can't. Don't even try. What are you gonna do? Get mad at me for me? Be upset at me because I don't like me very much? Because you don't like me? Because I don't like me? Because you like me? Hmm? Can't do it. Decent ore? Here you go. Give him the magic ore? Yes. Whoa, that ore, it looks like a toy, but I like it. Thanks, in exchange, I know, how's this? Lazily playing guitar while gazing at the moon is so nice. Hey, this chat member didn't like the guitar. What's well, a sea ukulele. It has a sweet sea scent. Hey, you working hard? Okay, so now I have to give this to the ukulele man. I don't know who that is, or where. Oh, I have to go to Rafton's house? Okay. Present Rafton's house.
Get the cock suck. I don't actually see. Can I do lightning damage that switches from target to target? Raftel's the old guy that made the rope, not the kid. I did this one already, but there it is. Big prize. It's given to a Zora that you meet later on. Diablo 2 stream when? Uh, last year. You can go watch that. chat member typing paragraphs. Uh, I, I can't, I'm not, I'm good. It's not helpful. I can't read all that right now. I'm sorry. Very quick messages are much more uh, easy, especially when chat scrolls up. I can get halfway through that before it scrolls up completely, and then I have to pause the game to read it, you know? Zelda 2 Redux. I don't know what that is, but I'd, I'll look into it. You could just email it to me if you want. Ah! Well, um... Okay. Rolling Ridge Base. Maybe there? Should I go give this to the... Well, okay, who do I give it to the, the ukulele to? Let's, um, let's start with that. Am I going the right way? Go south for Zora. Try south first, okay. Oh, this is why I needed this thing. Oh. How oh, I miss the smell and sound of the sea. That ukulele has the spirit of the sea in it, that smell, that sound. That's good of you to respect your elders, kids. I see you're on some adventure, well... I give you something old. This is the hero sword that a great hero gave my ancestors long ago. Broken sword. Hey, it's broken. What's that? It's broken. <laughs> oh, what a great sound. Okay, now, now what? I got the massive moon from Chrono Trigger. I don't know what to do with it now. Give it to Patch. Okay. But this dude's like fucking. It's gonna take a while to get there. Vinny, are you streaming Galaxy tonight? No. Vinny, I don't like this bit. Don't worry, you won't hear it again. Uh, no, I won't be streaming Galaxy tonight. I won't be streaming tonight. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Get the cock suck. So I'll probably be here for that. Well, I'll stream it tomorrow. There's no shortcut up here, right? Like, I have to do the whole thing again. The 
Okay, we'll go back then. We'll do it. I appreciate the help. It's making the game a little bit more streamlined for me. Because, you know, with me, if I just had to do this on my own, I'd be wandering around for a long time. Or just look up a guide. But the help is nice. There's a game you can't help me in, and it's called Flight Simulator. Actually, I was gonna say, seven days to die. You can kind of give me pointers, but I have to just, like, survive the zombie crust on my own. Kind of no way around that. Vine saw 6 9 or 6 9 -er. This appears to be the wrong way. Oh no. Or in Hades, due to your greed. Well, d to be fair, no one could help me because I made the decision despite every chat member aside from a couple saying, Vinny, do not get the thing. Do not get the thing. Do not get the thing. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get the thing. It'll be entertaining. And then I, if I finish the game, it'll be great. People would be proud of me if I got the thing and then succeeded. I need the approval of thousands of strangers. time travel. Okay, good, because I don't remember a goddamn thing. Zelda 2 Redux basically balances the game, gives a healthier translation, and one of the changes being saves. Um, didn't I stream that? I feel like I've streamed that. You streamed the rando, I know, but did I stream the Redux? As well? The Metroid NES hack. Oh, I did that one. Yeah, which made things a little bit more easy. Yeah, well, the quality of life. I think I tried to rando Zelda 2 Redux, and it didn't work. Maple is now on a UFO. <laughs> Sorry, flying saucer. You don't escape alien sauce. Get the bomb upgrade that you missed last time while you're here. I'd like to. Climb the vine, don't time travel. Well, let me let me get this thing repaired first, no? No, maybe you're correct. 
Just checked, you wanted to rando redux, but it wasn't supported. Okay, so that- that's- yeah, that's what happened. I tried to rando redux, but I could not. I could not. Cool you saw the two armor statues sunk in the water. So we need to go for the bomb upgrade. It's a little bit much anyway, it's a little overkill, the bomb upgrade. Push Vine to the left. Spends an hour fixing sound crust only to make his own during stream. I'm nothing if not a paradox. I'm nothing if not a pair of ducks in human skin. Did you drop a golden bomb or a silver bomb? A regular one. You are an honest person. I'll increase the number of bombs you can carry to reward you. It's a nice Link to the Past throwback. Thank you, Bomb Fairy. It's an old Asian legend, even WarioWare had it. Okay. Good to know. based on the Woodsman's Axe Parable. Bombs? I can't wait a few years when bombs bombs becomes a mainstream meme again. It all rotates. Everything old is new again. How about me, Gungaga? I made that video like nine years ago. Again, that wasn't a Vinny meme, that was just a thing that, you know, people found funny at the time, and, it, and still do. So... I just made it into a little video. I'm sure many, many other people did, but it became popular again because of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Wait until Gungaga actually shows up in Final Fantasy Remake Part Six and a Half. Redux. I can't wait to buy the Final Fantasy, uh, Chocobo crate with all seven and a half games in the Final Fantasy VII Remake Saga. I need a saga! If you come all the way up to the wall, you must need something fixed, but my fun or delicate ceremony is more difficult now. Do you wish to try? I want to see. You want me to repair that broken sword? My restoration ceremony might fix it. Wanna try? You are willing to try very well. Follow me. Patches crazy cart? Yes. Oh, I know what to do.
Oh, oh. Okay. My ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this trap. Uh, ceremony. Here is your broken sword. As good as new. As usual, I am perfect. There you go. Sacred noble sword. Nice. Level 2 sword acquired. I could get level 3 sword, but that would, like, seriously break the game. Level 3 sword is only available with, um, you know, the, the dual game. Nice rupees. Level 3 sword and sword damage times 2. How about Bigoron sword and sword damage times 2? You could wear the ring that increases your defense and reduces sword damage. That's true, I could do that. When do you get the Bigoron sword in this game, anyway? Am I close to that? It's tradable? It's from a secret after level 5. Wow! I say Bigoron sword, where is it? And now there's Gorons. This is the home of the Gorons. It's terrible. The Goron Elder has been buried alive under some rocks. What do we do? Help hurry. The Elder will die if we don't hurry. If only we had a bomb flower. That's how you pronounce Bigoron? Yeah, it's Big Goron. It's not Bigoron. It's not Bigger Ron. I guess the Elder was saved. Wait, maybe not. Ever since that big pig, the Great Moblin, came, we haven't been able to grow the Goron's famed bomb flowers. I guess we don't really know how Big Goron's pronounced. I don't think there's, like, anyone... I don't, I don't think it's ever been said. Maybe someone at Nintendo pronounces it Big Goron. Ask Charles. Sharon is premium, you can't use Sharon, but I could ask Charles. There's Charles. I can't find Charles. The 
accept terms of use. I don't think I'm on the right thing. Bigaron. Bigaron. Yeah, I can't find the other link. In the first big blue room, there's an unmarked bombable wall. First blue room? did a good job finding my hiding place. I don't think I've ever known about that. Is that a monk- wait, 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 is that a frog? Goron? That's a frog Goron in chat, chat. I don't know why. That was a weird sentence. It's a frog Goron in chat, chat. A young boy brought a bomb flower to Rolling Ridge. Thanks to him, bomb flowers are now the product that makes Rolling Ridge famous. More paradoxes. seen this emote on sauce. What's that emote? Is that Pogchino? Al Pogchino. It's one of Mike's emotes. It's Al Pogchino. I mean, it's a good name, Pogchino. The emote itself makes me want to puke, but I like it. Rolling Ridge is in an uproar now, <laughs> with the great moblin here. We're not reading that. Link just said fuck reading. No, nope. so we know this isn't happening. Have you seen this thing? Oh, Desert's Carl Pagona emote? Yeah. Then can you play Spelunky 2? I want to, but I'm, I'm not getting the PS4 version. Because then I'm just going to have to buy it again on the PC because I don't want to boot up my PlayStation every time I want to play it. And uh, I know if I buy the PS4 version, 
I'm just gonna, like, get the PC version and play it there anyway, so I'm just waiting. Someone just said, it's not coming to PC, Vin. He doesn't know? I really need to keep that snake animation that someone made on hand. Yeah, can, can you link me to that? It's the, the Buru link so I can grab that real quick. One snake starts laughing, and then they all begin to laugh. Vinny, you ever hear of this band called Redbox? It's good. No. I do wonder if one day someone will come into my chat room and be like, you know, Finn, have you ever heard of this band Redbox? Knowing your music taste, you might like them. Not actually knowing. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, it kind of took a life of its own. Spotify has been... I don't know why they're doing it. I don't know how they're doing it. Oh, I was supposed to do a call today. With one of my music peoples. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, well, forgot about that. That reminds me, what time was I supposed to do it? Uh, 6 p.m. Well, that's a meeting that I'm not doing. Um... Hmm. Yo, it was like a... A merch thing. Oh well. Not, not too worried about it. Stream the call? No. Stream doing laundry. What I was saying, no, it, it took... Spotify gave me, uh... a lot of promotion for some reason. I don't really know why, but it happened. Just tell them you were gaming and they'll understand. I could say I was working. Still a heart piece that Maple could give me, apparently. Have you played Lufia 1 or 2 on the SNES? I played Lufia 1. 
I rented it. Well, I go for the potion instead of the ring. I don't know, I have a lot of rings. Hey, you're that meddling boy. Well, this time things won't go the way they did, the way they did in Holodrum. I've gone to great trouble using the bomb flowers I stole from the Gorons. Taste my bombs! Come on, fool! Is this hot potato? Do you think someone actually was throwing around hot potatoes, and that's why it's called that? Like, what mad son of a bitch decided to, like, cook up a potato and just start throwing it at people? What a waste of food. It sounds like a sex move, the hot potato. Uh, yeah, I got a move called the hot call! Huh? That's a terrible Carl impression. Can't be! Why me? Foiled again. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but thank you for getting rid of the great Moblin. That wretch was keeping us from growing bomb flowers. Now we can grow bomb flowers without any worries. Take one as a sign of our thanks. Now that I think about it, long ago a young boy saved a Gobon elder. Maybe you can be like that boy. He won't get pushed around next time a guy like the Great Moblin comes around. Thanks, or we won't, rather. Link, your name has appeared in old Goron tales. Their legends tell of a great hero who saved the Gorons in their hour of need. What could this mean? Oh god, it's like Tenet time travel. Ugh. Link is now his own dad. I think he would be his own, like, ancestor. If anything. Because it's like, hundreds of years in the past. Maybe half of Hyrule is related to Link. <laughs> I love convoluted time travel plots. I can get out of here through this way. Reinald is buried under a pile of rocks. I hope someone could save him. Yeah. 
You human humans are st looking stranger every day. What happened? Supposed to jump down in the present, then use the portal back to the past. Or we could just do that. Hey, is that one of the legendary bomb flowers? You can't fool me. That's the unmistakable smell of a bomb flower. Please let me have that bomb flower. Thank you. Now we can save the Elder. Huh? What's wrong, brothers? Were you worried about me? <laughs> A rock that size can't hurt me. <laughs> Did you bring us the bomb flower? Sorry to trouble you. This is the shiny key I found on Northern Peak. I never found the keyhole, so I'll give you this. We shall take good care of the bomb flowers you brought us. We shall fill the peaks with them. Paradox. The next dungeon is very puzzle-heavy. It's my personal favorite, but a lot of people understandably hate it. Brace yourself. Well, I'm not gonna be able to stream it today, so I'm gonna break my brain. I'm gonna be mean to future Vinny, and I'm gonna save right in the dungeon. Because, uh, I'm gonna get some dinner and, uh, stuff like that. You see, it fits into the self-loathing thing I mentioned earlier, and also the time travel of, uh, of this game, Oracle of Ages. You see, I'm being mean to myself, but only future myself. Present myself is gonna be fed fairly well. Like, I'm not gonna grab a McDonald's clown meat or anything like that. Don't forget to call your band. Oh, no, 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 it's not calling the band, it's, it's... It was a discussion about vinyl-related thing. So, it wasn't anything, like, specifically music-related. I think I might have to do that tomorrow or next week. But, yeah, let's save. Tomorrow, I'll be streaming Mario Galaxy. So, if you want to watch that, you can stop by then. And, uh, thank you for watching. I'm gonna do the art, and then get some food. And if anyone... Get your cock sucked! Wait, had that... Stop, Mike. Stop. The plot of that is that he's whoring Jay out. He tells Jay to go turn some tricks. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's do it. Let's do the art.